The Jordan School Board of Education is taking a serious look at continuing distance learning long after the pandemic is over. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher is live at their meeting tonight. She breaks down a recent survey that's guiding the district's next steps. Lauren. Yeah, Kelly and Bob, so the school board is actually still meeting in that room as we speak right now. That survey, those results that they looked over basically questioned people if they like this pandemic schedule better than the way things were before, or do people simply want to go back to how it all was before COVID? And the majority had one answer. The survey answers are in. This was very fascinating to hear the results. Um, this is a lot to digest. And to some members of the Jordan School Board of Education, they're a little surprising. When you look at those survey results, you have to admit we might be onto something significant here. And it would be foolish to just throw it out without pausing to say, did we discover something that's a better way to deliver education? This pie chart shows how Jordan School District parents, teachers, students and employees feel about four day in person with Friday distance learning slash small groups. The blue and green nearly 70% like the pandemic schedule. Red and orange just over 20% don't. The rest in yellow were neutral and most 63% said they preferred the current schedule over the pre pandemic schedule, whereas 34% want to go back to the way things were. Everybody that I've seen has been willing to say, hey, if we put some more structure around this, if we put some more thought into it, this could be really great. Sarah Nichols is one of the 16,112 people who filled out the survey. She's a parent who's also president of the South Jordan Elementary Community Council, which means she's had lots of discussion with parents and teachers. From the parents that I have spoken to at the junior high level, overwhelmingly have loved it. Elementary has been a little bit more mixed. I think there's been it's it's less obvious in some cases how the elementary piece can work. It's that need for structure and clear expectations that came in as the number one thing in the survey that people are concerned about. The school board certainly has questions as well. We would have to ask the question, is every level the same? Would elementary schools and secondary schools need to be different? If we're really going to commit to that on a long term basis, do we have the the resources to make sure that everything is available for students. And so there are a lot of questions to ask. Not to mention this question, would state law even allow it? The board organized a committee to take a closer look and come up with a proposal on how to move forward. Now, as far as that committee, now the board knows that parents are going to want to know so that they can plan what things are going to be like. So they were saying in their meeting tonight that they'd like to have some sort of answer, maybe in April or May. They're hoping that committee can come back at their next meeting to give some initial results of what they're finding. Live in Riverton, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.